Hello, welcome to Vaiku Academy for Python course. I am instructor Saif Bhutta. So, in this session, we are going to discuss about working with strings. Understanding how to work with strings is essential to writing effective Python code. Uh, so, what is a string? A string is a sequence of characters. In Python, strings are enclosed in either single quotes or double quotes. So, in Python, you can declare a string by enclosing a sequence of characters in either single quotes or double quotes. For example, uh, just like uh, I declared this string name containing the sequence of character enclosed in single quotes. Okay, so there are several operations in strings uh, with Python. Okay. So first one is the string concatenation. Okay, so in Python, you can concatenate strings using the plus operator. For example, let me just declare the two strings and then I'll concatenate that strings. For example, the first name is equal to John. Okay. And another uh, string, last name is equal to Do. Okay. So, as I said earlier, that we can concatenate two strings by just using the plus operator. So, let's say make another. A variable string variable full name is equal to so first name plus uh, space string plus last name okay so let me just uh, print the full name Okay, as you guys uh, can see on your screen that we have successfully concatenated the two strings, first name, last name, and stored the result in full name. And when uh, I just print the full name, uh, John Doe, the first name concatenated with the space and then concatenated with the last name. Okay, so there are several string methods. Uh, Python has several inbuilt string methods that you can use to manipulate strings. Some of the most uh, commonly used methods are following that I'm going to discuss one by one. So, string methods. Okay. First one is the length. Len returns the length of a string. Uh, let's uh, test this. Print n and the first name. Okay. So four is printed. So as you guys can see on your screen that the length or simply the number. So what is the key length? Length is simply the number of characters in the string so this is len method so second one is the upper upper method of string so upper method returns a new string with all the characters in uppercase so uh, let's take an example which is equal to let's say hello so let's print the message simple and then use the upper method and then print the message again so print message and then in the next line let's print message 
dot okay so and one another important point is this is a string which is stored in a variable called message so if i want to apply the upper method on the message i can usually i can simply do this that message dot and then upper so because a uh, message is a string type variable and this upper method is uh, for the string variable so i need i can use it with uh, string variables only so let's do it and let me just uh, comment the up print uh, above uh, print statements so that we can avoid any confusion so let's check this okay uh before applying the upper it is simply the hello but after applying the upper function on the message string you guys can see that all the characters are upper and uh, in the same way uh, there is another method which is called lower and as we can guess by the name that it will return a string that will contain all the lower case characters so let's do it print message dot lower sorry okay so let's try this okay you guys can see that all the lower characters after applying the lower functions there is another very interesting uh, method called replace okay so what replace will do as name suggests or we can guess by the name that it will replace this specific string or all the string by some other string so let's uh, do this so let's make another variable new message equal to message dot replace so uh, we need to give two values first value that we want to replace let's say replace the double l in the hello with double s okay double l i will give the part of string double l first and then i want to replace it with double s so i will give the second value to the replace function the double s so let's print the new message okay so you guys can see on the screen that uh, it is printing the hello instead of hello. So these uh, were some uh, inbuilt methods. Uh, obviously, there are some other methods. Uh, we like, like let's say message dot. So. Uh, you guys can see that there are some other several methods uh, for example count it will count uh, the uh, specific part of string uh, by mean of specific part of string i mean uh, a sequence of character or simple characters let's say a uh, message string uh, is hello so let's count the number of o's in the hello okay so message dot count o we will print this so there is one number of o characters in the hello so it's just printing so uh, i just showed you in this lecture uh, some very basic inbuilt methods of string uh, these are not the all the methods and there are obviously some other methods but uh, now you guys can easily explore the other methods of this string by just putting the dot next to 
the uh, uh, string variable name and then it will give you a list and we can explore one by one so thank you very much uh, see you guys uh, in the next lecture